What is up, my friends? Today, we're rocking out one of the best at-home drills you can do for your game that's really gonna get everything started off right. Let's go. Okay, for this drill, what you're gonna need is well, you probably need to be at home. You'll need, we'll use an iron. I'm gonna use a seven iron for this today. You're gonna to need a baseboard. So go somewhere in your house where you have some baseboards. And if you don't, that's fine. Get a wall or whatever. We can get by with that. But the baseboard is really the best way. And the kind of the taller it is, the better. So if you got that, great. If not, that's fine too. We'll make it work. It's not gonna be the end of the world. It's gonna really be great. Oh, and by the way, thanks so much for stopping by, taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything at all. And uh, let's jump on it, come on. We're just working on one thing today. It's our Friday five minute fix. So we wanna knock out a great drill, something so you can have one swing thought when you take to the course. Here we go. Okay, boom, set up, whatever, just use your seven iron, perfect little setup here. Now, as you take it back, I want you to keep that club head on the baseboard as long as possible, okay? Now, if you rotate that face open, then the club head will come off of the baseboard. We don't want that. I want no hand rotation. So, I want you to turn and keep that club face square and just drag it along that baseboard as long as possible. A lot of teaching has taught us to take the club back low, which causes this. And you get in here, and then when you go to strike your ball, you hit it like 40 fairways to the right. So taking it back too low is not going to keep that on the baseboard. Also, you don't want to take it back low on the baseboard because in order to keep it there, you have to move your body. We don't want our body to move. We want our body to stay perfectly still. We want only the club the toe of the club to stay on that baseboard as long as possible. And it's going to come back and up to about there, and then you're done. You're done with that part of the drill. What we've done there is we've set the swing in motion. And once the swing begins in motion, it's just gonna continue on that track the entire backswing. So that first part is the most critical in the entire golf swing. Boom, see I came off too, I came off a little too early there. Right there, take it back, and now I'm in motion. Just keep that same swing plane going. Keep that same motion. Don't then do this after you come off the baseboard. Keep it on there the entire time, and don't extend your arms out to keep it on there. This would be no good. We just wanna keep everything as it was at setup. You can turn your body a little bit. Just slight turn of your body, slight bend of your left knee right there. And then from this point, as soon as it gets to the top of the baseboard, that's why I like the baseboard, because it gives you a good indication of how long to keep that club that far away from you. A lot of people like to get here on the backswing. That's no good. We want to be way out here. That's where we want to be. And how we get there is following that baseboard right to there. Now I can get there. Now, I, now I'm turning, and as soon as I set my wrists, I'm not even doing much, but as soon as you feel this bend, then we move on to the transitional piece of this and we're golden. This is why I put these two together because all you're gonna do, you got that, right? You work that baseboard, you're like, okay, I got that. Now, as soon as you feel your elbow bend or your wrist set, as soon as you feel that kind of setting of this stuff up here, that's when I want you to start moving this left knee out and open. So you're here, it's like, when do I begin? I feel it, now I'm, now I'm transitioning that left knee. Just flare it open, that's kind of your trigger to start the downswing. So you're here, feel it, and you're just right there, it's gonna engage the hips, get everything working, uh, you know, in the proper sequencing. So I'm just, all I'm focused on is that first part, and I'm good, bend, flick, Flip the knee, flip the knee, whatever you wanna, however it helps you engage it. And you should be 
starting to feel a good transition. And what I find is that when we're working on that first piece of the takeaway, uh, we get so caught up in that that we don't know when to swing or it messes up our transitional piece here. And so we're just focused on this and then we lose our train of thought. We don't know what to do. And it, it really affects a lot of people. That's why I like to combine that takeaway with some transitional piece to it to help you go and start the swing. Cause you start working on this so much, you don't know when to begin your downswing. So I like to combine the two together. That's why we're doing it this way. That felt pretty good. Little cutter, 168, carry seven iron. I love that. Guys, that's your Friday five minute fix up so you can go crush it on the course. If you're going out today, this weekend, whenever, go have some fun out there. Good luck, love you guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and I will see you in the next video.